and we're up. Time to get ready. <laughs> And here is the full fit. Forgot the best part of the outfit. Platform Uggs. Good morning. I'm headed to Pilates as part of my goal to move more this year. Normally I'd have my AG1 or my supplements this morning. Well, not normally, but normally this week. But I didn't have time, so we are in a rush to get to Pilates because it starts at 8.30. I'm trying to be a morning person. I'm not really trying. See, all of these are lies, but <laughs> I want to wake up earlier. That is just like something I admire about other people is waking up earlier and having like four more hours in your day. But I'm still like exhausted at 7.30 and can barely pry myself out of bed. So we'll take the small wins. Something people probably don't know about me is I don't really drive. Well, and by don't really, I mean I haven't driven in like four years maybe since I lived in New York. I got in an accident when I was younger and have like major anxiety about highways and I don't know, I just haven't really driven since I've been back in Nashville, but maybe I'll do that this year. Until then, passenger princess. <laughs> is the around the house fit today. I put on jeans so that maybe I'll be productive. I feel like when you put on like actual pants in your house, it's gonna be a productive day. Here's the living room. We're doing a quick seven minute huddle to strategize for the day, even though it's like noon. Never too late for strategy. We just had a call with our accountant, so that's adult of us. I will say the least fun part about doing content creation is taxes. I feel like when you have a full-time job, like it's sad that you probably don't look at how much taxes are taken out, but I kind of like don't even want to know, don't want to see it. Like I just get my paycheck, whatever. It's like, it feels like way less than what I make, but I don't investigate much. But now when you're doing the reverse and you have to take that money out and pay it, I don't like it. I will say this year, we're gonna learn a lot more about money, investment. That's my goal, is to listen to more like financial podcasts. Just listening to one of the Skinny Confidential episodes with Rob Deerdeck, and it was really interesting that he said like, like one game changing thing for him was like to really understand money. And I feel like we're never taught that, so. This is a very normal day in my life as a director of influencer and partnerships who works from home and also a content creator and what it's like to pretty much have two full-time jobs man a lot has changed since i last sat down and made a video like this i think that was like the first year that i really started getting serious and consistent about content again i think that was like end of 2020 but the last year has been really crazy i've really been enjoying myself just like experimenting with content creation starting my series normalizing disabled fashion girlies which i think is what really helped me grow over the last year. It's kind of cool that like something that might have been an insecurity for me or just like is the thing that makes me different is what people are resonating with. I like that and I've gotten like to connect with so many other disabled people and just like have a lot of like positive comments back and forth to each other. So it's cool to like do something that inspires people. Anyways, I feel like I post a lot of like fashion content or beauty content or like sponsored things on, across Instagram and TikTok. And I feel like I rarely get a chance to like sit down and talk to you, let alone like see what my day actually looks like, which more often than not is like kind of boring or behind a computer. So hustle behind it all. Oh, there's Scott. Hi Scott. I'm definitely really grateful that I get to work from home. I mean, I could not do what I do if I had to go into an office every day. And I remember those days of like commuting 45 minutes from Washington Heights to my office in Midtown at my first job out of college. And I had absolutely no time to myself, let alone like to have a side passion. So I feel like that's a huge, 
blessing. It's definitely a lot of work, but I think this year for me, I am desperately gonna try to find balance and time for myself because I feel like I'm always on this thing. Let's see, pray for me guys. The two computer life. I like to kind of like change up where I'm working. So a lot of times I'll work from the kitchen for a few hours, then go up to my office or I guess that's it the kitchen or the office. Making lunch. I'm obsessed with Baked by Melissa's TikTok recipes and she always makes these chopped salads. So I chopped all this stuff at the beginning of the week. This is the dressing, which is my favorite. I'm so into miso and this is the best one that I found. Any kind of like avocado or olive oil, sesame oil, soy sauce, garlic salt, lemon, fresh lemon. And then I sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. So I'm gonna mix this up and then put the salad in. So this is dino kale green cabbage, green onions, which are so yummy, and cucumber. So crunchy and fresh and healthy. A lot of times I'll eat these with tortilla chips. These are so good. These are the best tortilla chips ever. If you learned one thing from this video, this isn't sponsored. So good. So filming this video is actually reminding me to eat lunch. A lot of times I'll just work through lunch and just like, oh, it's like 4.30 and I'm starving or five. And then I'm like, oh, but we have dinner in an hour. Might as well just wait. This is for my corporate girlies who also don't eat lunch. It's like one thing I wanna work on and get better at. All part of the balance that I have for these lofty balance goals. I just changed into a little button up on top of my jeans because I'm about to film a video about Makeup looks for work, so, you know, only needs to be business on the top, party on the bottom. Where the magic happens. Get ready with me video for a TikTok campaign. This is the setup. Nice giant pile of clothes. Well, the second video was a fail. I tried to start filming, but then kind of lost the sunlight, so. Oh well, I am gonna finish some emails and make sure I'm all checked and tied for work. And then we have dinner with friends tonight at 6.30. It's like 4.15 now, so working till then. All right, now I have to get ready. We're going to dinner with some friends. I feel like I've gotten ready and unready like four times today. And that is my life. I have like a little bit of remaining makeup on, but I'm gonna do that trick that Kendall Jenner and Hailey Bieber's makeup artist does where she contours first and then conceals and then puts the foundation on with a big fluffy brush thing. You know what I'm talking about. I already had a little bit of contour when the light was bad. Also this foundation, Vapor Soft Focus Foundation, no one ever talks about this. And I bought it from like Filane, like a small clean beauty retailer a while ago. And it is probably the best foundation I've ever used. And I don't know, no one knows about it. We're just gonna move this around. I don't know, hoping for the best. I feel like up close, I'm not having the like amazing reaction that everyone else has been having, but I'm gonna just beauty blend it out. Everyone else is like, it's never looked so seamless. I feel like I see the brush strokes, so that's bothering me. Honesty only on this YouTube channel. All right, it definitely looks pretty good, but like, I feel like I need to contour again. Best bronzer ever. I'm biased, but it really is. A little bit more mascara. I had a little bit on, but whatever. I'm just gonna put a little more. If there's one thing you can find in our house, Celsius at all times. This is not part of the healthy New Year's resolutions that I should be showing. I'm gonna get dressed. This is what I'm most excited about. This totem coat I got for Christmas. This is the look. I'm wearing a sweater underneath, but not important today. Going to dinner. home after two glasses of wine and a whiskey sour. Feeling great. Oil cleanser always. You know, it's always gotta be this. I change up a lot of skincare products. One that I don't change up 
this Shiseido eye cream because it's so good. It's like so rich, so hydrating. I have super sensitive, like really dry eyes that get super irritated. Always fixes everything. And I change up my moisturizers a lot, but tonight, why not go big? My skin needs it. It's so dry tonight. Here's where it turns bad. I think I'm gonna slug tonight and I'm letting you in on the secret. And I feel like every time I do this, I wake up and my skin is like healed. Like better than my eczema cream. Okay, that's it. We're greased up, ready for bed. All right, that's all folks. Oh we God. just like turned all the lights off. And we're like falling asleep. And then I was like, hold on, I gotta finish my vlog. That was a day in my life. Now you can see every single pore on my face. I love you so much, and hopefully it won't be so long till I do this. I say this every time, but I really do love you. Okay, that's all for now.